Well, look at what the world has come to. Me speaking at a fundraiser for a left-wing think tank. Greetings, uh, Progress Gala attendees. Hello, Ed. I bring you warm congratulations on this first gala from Friendly Manitoba. Greetings, Ed. Bonsoir tout le monde, je tiens à vous saluer alors que vous êtes ensemble pour faire avancer la cause de Broadband Institute. Hi Ed and good evening ladies and gentlemen. Two Seahawks are in chat. Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely night there in Toronto, uh, unfortunately not here in Vancouver. I'm sorry I'm not with you in Toronto this evening to be part of this wonderful inaugural Progress Gala of the new Ed Broadband Institute. On behalf of the AFN, I bring you all warmest greetings at this first Progress Gala. But uh, we won't hold that against you, Ed. I'm sure uh, there will be a future Progress Gala here in Vancouver. And hearty congratulations on your success to date. And I'm delighted to be with you tonight to pay tribute to a genuinely great man, Ed Broadbent. Et c'était toujours agréable de rencontrer Ed Broadbent. Il était toujours très civilisé et il mettait toujours les intérêts du pays en avant des intérêts personnels ou partisans. You know, when Ed left politics, he retired, uh, I asked him to come to see me because I had something to offer him. I'd like him to continue service to Canada. And when he came to my office, I, um, I offered him an appointment to the Senate. And he said, the Senate? God, I can't go there, uh, Brian. That's as dull as bloody dishwater. Nothing ever happens there. And I said, well, maybe your appointment would do something to liven the joint up, Ed. And he said, no, no, nothing will ever uh, liven that place up, except maybe a revolution or a big bank robbery. We know that any organization that carries the name of Ed Broadbent will be characterized by work that reflects your decency, fair-mindedness, and open-mindedness. He was a kind of a guys you like to play hockey with, you know, you can be bombing the board, but we go together after that and have a beer. I applaud the Broadband Institute for this initiative and the opportunity it creates for people to come together and reflect on what we mean by progress, progressive thinking, and how we can truly achieve it. Well, I think progress comes from the collision of great ideas. And you know what? Good public policy, principled public policy, makes a great difference in Canadians' lives. As mayor of the sixth largest city in Canada, I am well aware of the challenges that we face. We must also reflect on the early relationships between the First Peoples and the newcomers to this land. Inequality, declining middle class in our country. That early relationship was based on partnership, sharing, and recognizing one another as nations with responsibilities to one another. And most important of all, unemployment amongst our youth. And somewhere, somehow, Canadians will find what is best for the country somewhere in the course of that great debate. You know, public service is a very difficult task. People don't understand the sacrifice and the times that everybody has to give to that. Here in Manitoba, we believe in an inclusive economy with job opportunities for everyone so that we can invest in things that make Manitoba's families' lives even better. I want to say congratulations and a big thank you for all the incredible work that the Institute has already been doing. We need a debate about big ideas, about the a grander vision of Canada and where we're all going to be. Advancing important conversations through the Equality Project. And so the Broadband Institute and its financial support is extremely important. The work on a greener economy. And that's why I'm so appreciative of the role the Broadband Institute plays in allowing a proper debate on the way forward in this country. These are really important conversations that we need to be having in Canada. We do not seek change for its own sake. We see change and progress with the purpose of being true to those that forged the path before us. We seek change to realize the vision of our ancestors. We seek change to create the world that our children deserve. So congratulations on the inaugural you're holding on November the 21st. And I wish you every success because the role that you are playing is important to get the public involved in a major way. I believe it can be accomplished as I'm sure you do too. 
I want to congratulate you on this first event. I want to wish you the very best for the future. Let's keep a progressive policy debate going in this country and ensure we have the kind of Canada we are all proud to live in. Congratulations, have a great event. So have a great evening tonight. Uh, and I know that the work of the Broadbent Institute will come to be treasured in Canadian public discourse. But congratulations to you all for honoring Ed Broadbent. You couldn't find a better man to honor, or you couldn't find anyone who has made a more significant and valued contribution to the unity and the well-being of Canada. So congratulations, Ed, and my best wishes to you all tonight. Hello. I would like to say to all of you, it's a great cause uh, the, at Broadband Institute, and I wish you all the luck and say thank you for everyone who is helping uh, the Institute to progress. Bonne chance, et à la prochaine. <laughs> Mrs. Thatcher used to say, it's a funny old world, and was she right?